A gathering place for local sports fans, the menu at Stevens Pick features flavorful comfort food. If sports aren't your thing, get on down to the dance floor or pick up a mic to karaoke the night away. In Oakland at OVO, Oakland's very own tavern and eatery. OVO started from a dream. Our foundations are very similar and close. We actually grew up together across the street. Trevelyan Adenandis. Gordon Tillman. We're co-owners of Oakland's very own Tavern and Eatery. We came up with that name because we wanted to have something for us, by us. And what we strive to do here at OVO is to make people feel part of the community, almost as if it's their own spot. Right here. There we go. Our back of the house staff, um, we have some really good chefs there. Can I get a little more juice in my jambalaya? The dry rub, that's one of my signatures. I'm the only one on to make it. <laughs> <laughs> Cell phones have taken away the intimacy in friendships, relationships. So we like, how can we bring people together? So we make this fish bowl. It comes with four straws. That should be shared by two to three or four people. It's just trying to bring friends to interact with each other as they drink it. So it's just trying to put a stamp in the community. So we try very hard to put that positive vibe out to anybody that comes through the door. In the daytime, you can bring your kids here. They feel at home. In the evening time, you can come and you know feel safe, have a good meal, have an excellent drink, and go home hammered and full. <laughs> Stephen, how did you find this place? Well, this young man who uh, I met uh, a little while ago, he uh, told me about his restaurant. He told me to come on by. I stopped by and I fell in love with the atmosphere. I fell in love with his personality and what he was doing in the community. And the food was pretty good, too. Are you a sports fan? I am a sports fan. Go Warriors. <laughs> I, I you love. You can tell you do a radio show. Say that again. <laughs> Go Warriors. Go Warriors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a sports fan. And it has about seven or eight big screens all around. And it's that sports atmosphere where you can come and enjoy the game and also have a, a good bite to eat as well. And what do you get? I love to uh, go on their brunch on Sundays. That's Ooh. my favorite time. But when I go and watch a game in the evenings, I, I love chicken wings. I'm a chicken wing guy. <laughs> they have these catfish sliders that are delicious. And they put a piece of fish between some bread, and the fish is cooked uh, tenderly, and it's cooked with good seasoning as well. I think the chef there really knows how to season their food. Well, I think my favorite part was actually the wings. So mm -hmm. I'm a granddaughter of a southern woman uh -huh. and so I grew up eating fried chicken. So. Say that with an accent. <laughs> I grew up southern. I heard it's southern. <laughs> um, so Grammys will always be number one because mm. I'm a good granddaughter but OVO's wings were really really good. They were, good. they were really crunchy on the outside, well seasoned mm -hmm. and they were moist on the inside. So that was my actual absolute favorite part of the experience. Right. Uh, so we too went for Sunday brunch. We took friends who live in the neighborhood and we took our kiddo so we thought that mm -hmm. this is definitely approachable and very casual. A family spot. Yeah so for brunch at least it, it's fine to bring kids to. And so a couple people got the buffet. I ordered the shrimp and grits, uh, and that was my second favorite part of uh, the experience. And what about you, Sam? Well, for starters, I had the OVO crab cakes, and I really enjoyed it for the reason that they <coughs> actually use real lumps of crab meat. Wow. And what I really enjoyed the most was their sun-dried tomato aioli. It just hit the right spot as a starter. And then for later for entrees, I had the OVO macaroni and cheese. Hey. And I can hey. tell you, <laughs> first of all, the presentation is beautiful. It comes in a black cast iron yes. um, casserole dish. Mm -hmm. And then it had a white cheddar sauce. And I was not expecting the bacon in it. Uh, the bacon right, that was right. laced through it, it was rendered and it was crispy and smoky. I mean, I'm not a big macaroni and cheese fan, but I will go back there just for <laughs> macaroni and cheese. But one of the things that I found really entertaining there, it was Tavern Tuesday. Right. And on Tavern Tuesday, they have unlimited meat tacos yes. for $2, $5 margaritas. There was a DJ in the middle of the floor, 
and it was karaoke night. Yeah. Yes, it was karaoke. <laughs> night. Karaoke tacos and margaritas. Yes. yes. Reggae be rhythm. Oh. Is yes. <laughs> and it was R and B music. It brought me. It was nostalgic. It brought me back to my middle school gymnasium at the wow. school dance, and I couldn't stop moving my shoulders because because <laughs> everyone wants to. <laughs> yeah, to middle right. school. Don't we all want to go back? <laughs> I, I, well, for her, it wasn't very long ago. <laughs> right. So. Right. Right. <laughs> but it was definitely nostalgic. It, I definitely had a great time. <laughs> and what about your experience outside? Of the food. Outside of the food, it was uh, a little interesting. I think um, they kind of just missed the mark a lot um, on different operational points. The biggest one that I experienced was that when we were seated, we weren't given a menu. Mm. The server, he was super nice. Mm -hmm. He explained that we could either do the buffet or we could order a la carte items. And um, he gave the price for the buffet, um, but then we had to ask like, well, what's on the a la carte items? And I think it made us kind of confused mm -hmm. to go um, and try and order on the fly. Well, it's it's a it's a neighborhood place, you know, and yeah. they're, they're very home homey and very warm and very you know nice people, and they'll serve you whatever you really want, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, I uh, I don't need the menu because I know the menu by <laughs> heart. But, uh, I also love their braised oxtails. Ooh. And so when I tried them the first time, I fell in love with the oxtails. They're so tender, and then they have this great. I love gravy over them, and I think anybody who tries these oxtails, if you're an oxtail person, you're going to love these oxtails. They're delicious. And if you're not an oxtail person? You're still going to love these oxtails. Don't <laughs> be converted. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Stephen, your spot, wrap it up for us. OVO, a great place to go Friday night for karaoke, Sunday for brunch, and any time for a Warriors game. <laughs> All right, and Marley? I wouldn't recommend it based on our kind of operationals or service experience, but if you do find yourself there, Get those fried wings. Yeah. Those are really good. <laughs> all right, and Sam. I guess I was fortunate enough because the service I got was great all around. So I would say phenomenal service, wow. good old comfort food, and who doesn't like karaoke on a <laughs> school day? <Week> night. <laughs> <laughs> all right, if you would like to try OVO Tavern and Eatery, it's located on Martin Luther King Jr. Way between West and 53rd in Oakland. The telephone number is 510-922-8082. It's open for dinner Tuesday through Saturday with brunch on Sundays. Reservations are accepted and the average dinner tab per person without drinks is around $20. Check Please Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQBD and by IRG has in-trend surfaces, quieter marbles and rare exotics. Over 10,000 slabs in stock today. IRG in Brisbane and Dublin and at marblecompany.com. Mattress Systems from European Sleepworks, working to improve comfort and wellness for over 40 years. At Adeline and Ashby in Berkeley, online at sleepworks.com. Oakland International Airport, now with flights all over the world. iFlyOAK.com. Sutter Health CPMC, 7,000 employees, nurses, and physicians caring for their communities every day. Your city, your hospital. CPMC2020.org. La Tour Angel Artisan Oils, French-inspired and handcrafted in Northern California. La Tour Angel creates natural, healthy cooking oils that add new flavor to everyday dishes. Support for KQED comes from Total Wine & More, offering more than 8,000 wines, 2,500 beers, and 3,000 spirits. Total Wine & More, now with six Bay Area locations.